Hi, I'm Kevin Eikenberry, and I'm here to help you reach your potential as a leader and a human being. Welcome to Remarkable TV. Today we're talking about brainstorming and one word that can mess it all up. Let's get started. Brainstorming is something we've all done. We don't always do it very well, but we've all done it. We have some experience with it. In fact, uh, there's a lot of research and experience that says that the way we do brainstorming has a lot of flaws, but that's a bigger issue than we can handle in just one episode. In fact, brainstorming is one of those things that gets parodied. It gets parodied in movies, it gets parodied in commer TV commercials, it get, gets parodied on TV shows like The Office and others, and we laugh at those parodies. And so they're not completely true, but like in most parts of life, there's truth in jest, and there's certainly truth in the fact that there are problems with brainstorming, and it's sometimes painful the way it works. So let's, let's think about what brainstorm, what, why we brainstorm and what we're really trying to accomplish. We're really trying to accomplish three things. The first thing we're trying to accomplish is to have lots of ideas. I mean, let's face it. If we had all the ideas we needed, we wouldn't have to brainstorm. They would just like fall out of the sky or whatever. So we want a lot of ideas. But we don't just want a lot of ideas, we want new ideas, we want fresh ideas, we want things that will be not the things we've already thought about before. That's one of the reasons we bring a group together thinking, well, we'll get the synergy of the group and we'll get things we haven't heard before. And the other thing that we want out of brainstorming, although not the direct item, what we also want is positive energy. We want there to be an energy that flows around these ideas, creating some momentum, creating some excitement. We want some positive energy, and that's what we really want from brainstorming. Now, if we were getting all those things, there wouldn't be all the parodies. Now, would there? So here's what, unfortunately, and I think that you probably know that I'm really not a cynic, but here's the fact. A lot of times, here's what we really get in brainstorming. We get a few ideas. We get the stuff that, you know, well, it's, we get a few, they sort of flow out and it's not a lot and it's probably the stuff that any one of us individually might have been able to come up with alone. And we get safe ideas. We might get something new, a little bit, a little bit new, but we get the safe stuff. There's all sorts of issues that come with the group and we don't really get the new big ideas, we get a few safe ideas. And energy? Well, there's energy in the room, but it may not be positive, and it may not be sustaining and creating momentum, and in fact, based on what happens with the word we're gonna talk about, we may actually get negative energy or something very counterproductive. So here's what brainstorming, what, it, what often happens, or one of the things that you've experienced happening in brainstorming. Someone, let's say it's me, says, what about this idea? And someone else says, but that's not going to work, or but what about this instead? And there's the word, but. The word but gets in the way. The word but does three things. It makes me, as the receiver of the but, think that, well, they're not really listening to me. They don't really care about what I'm thinking, and it certainly doesn't amp up my energy level, does it? In fact, if we go back to our goals for brainstorming, it's certainly not encouraging me to share more ideas. It's certainly not encouraging me to share bigger, fresher, bolder ideas. And, and as I said, it's not helping our energy level at all. The word but is a serious problem. We got to get our butts out of brainstorming. Now, I've done an exercise that I learned from, from experts in improv. I've done this exercise a number of times in workshops, and I know that lots of other consultants and trainers have used it a lot more than I have. And here's how the exercise goes. You get, have a group of people, you give them a length of time to brainstorm on a topic, and they're asked to brainstorm on it, something that we could all brainstorm on, places to go on vacation, let's say. And what, what people are asked to do is after everybody shares an idea, and when the next person shares theirs, they are to start by saying, uh, no, but. Uh, and they do that every time. And at the end of the, t the pre-described time for the brainstorming, you take, keep track of how many ideas you collected. Then you give a group another sim similarly 
easy brainstorming task, common brainstorming task, but instead people are encouraged in between to not say no but, but to say yes and. And so everything else stays the same except that before you give your idea, you say yes and. The number of ideas that come out of those sessions is drastically increased. And the energy that comes out of that session is drastically more positive as well. Now, I'm not suggesting that every time we do brainstorming, we have to tell our people that we've got to say yes and between the ideas. But what I am saying is there's an awful lot of negative stuff that's happening in our brainstorming. There's an awful lot of off-handed comments. There's an awful lot of things, often all around the word, but. If we want to have more successful brainstorming, we got to get our butts out of brainstorming. And oh, by the way, we might want to get our butts out of the chair while we're brainstorming, but that's another episode too. How about today's tweet? The more often you hear but while brainstorming, the less successful your session will be. So stimulating innovation, encouraging creativity is one of the tasks that we have as a leader. And it's one of the things that we talk about when we gather groups together for the Remarkable Leadership Workshop, which I developed and which I lead. And I'd certainly love to have you join me for a future session. Now, we don't only talk about creativity and innovation, but it's certainly one of the things we talk about. So what would you experience if you came to join us for an upcoming Remarkable Leadership Workshop? Well, you'd experience uh, an engaging, fun, relevant, and practical experience. You'd experience the chance to get coaching and interaction with me, as well as with all of the others in the room, creating a learning experience that is lasting and fun, and that will really make a, a difference for you in your results. I'd love to have you join us for a future session. Hey, and before you go, I want to thank you for joining us. I hope that you'll share any comments, questions, ideas, even disagreements in the comments below. And I look forward to seeing you on a future episode of Remarkable TV.